The latest social media trend has people posting AI-generated yearbook photos of themselves. Celebrities like Heidi Klum and Arnold have shared the 90s style photos. <laughs> yeah, okay. The filters <laughs> look realistic, but doctors say trends like this can actually impact your mental health. Now, obviously, people like Arnold, I'm sure he can take it, but uh, maybe not everybody. Joining us now is Dr. Samantha DeCaro, the Director of Clinical Outreach and Education at the Renfrew Center. And doctor, I mean, yeah, uh, somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger may be used to getting ribbed or doing fun pictures like that, but what about the average person, particularly yeah. teenagers, young people? Yeah, so what we know is that there is ample research establishing links between simply looking at ideals, body ideals, ideals of ourselves, and body dissatisfaction, disordered eating, low self-esteem. So, and this can be really difficult, especially for folks who are vulnerable to eating disorders, body dysmorphic disorder. It can be pretty dangerous. So recommendations for parents, uh, doctor, because it's not one thing, it's another <laughs> it's with the media, digital stuff, the phone all the time, now this. What do you say to them? Yeah. I think the most powerful thing parents can do, and I say this a lot, is to set a good example with social media. I mean, if you're a parent and you're posting your own, you know, AI-generated pictures or using filters and that sort of thing, Remember, your children are watching, and the most powerful thing you can do as a par parent is really take a look at your own relationship with social media and how much you're emphasizing the importance of appearance or your own weight stigma, um, things like this. All of this can affect um, your child's view of themselves and can affect their self-esteem ultimately. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how parents can keep up now, uh -huh. really. It, it's tough enough heart just being out. a parent. Yeah, we, our heart goes out to it. Uh, with all this in mind, how can users, you know, navigate social media in a positive way, Dr. Anderson? I always say that social media, there are benefits to it. We need to be sure that we're using social media to connect rather than to compare. And it's very important that we're mindful when we're using social media, checking in with ourselves. How is this making me feel? Is this making me feel less than? Maybe I need to set some boundaries around social media. Maybe I need to follow different types of people, more diverse body types. Uh, maybe I need to be using social media in a different way. So it's really all about mindfulness, being able to check in with your own emotional experience, and putting that phone away, mm -hmm. um, focusing maybe on other activities that bring you joy. I like, <laughs> I was just going to say, be compassionate to yourself. And I think when you add all the news that's going on in the world and how troubling that can be to everything that is put at us about making these cho choices. And what do you mean when you say be compassionate to ourselves? Yeah, be compassionate. It's really giving yourself permission to not love your body or love your appearance every second of the day. That's really not the goal of having a healthier relationship with body image. The goal is really to think about your body less and not to be so focused on it, but to give yourself some compassion, some understanding that we live in a culture that really emphasizes appearance, really emphasizes body weight and shape and size. And it makes sense that we might feel not so good about ourselves sometimes. So I think self-validation is really important. Yeah, give yourself a break, to put it simply. <laughs> give yourself a break, exactly, exactly. We're all human and um, it can affect all of us. Dr. DeCaro, great job. Thank you so much. We really, really? appreciate it. Yeah. Yes. Thank so you for having me. Oh, so man. now.